Okay, so this second video is going to go through the stages of mitosis. Um, do remember, when we're talking about mitosis, right, uh, we talk about the cell cycle. Most of the cell psycho, psycho, cycle um, is taken up with interphase, okay? So interphase is just kind of the, the usual growth of the cell. So just it's living, it might be growing, it might not, but that can be divided into three phases of G1, S phase, and G2 phase. So that's just the normal everyday functioning of a cell, you know, and that's mostly G1. And then what can also happen here is it can go into what we call G0, where there's basically no more cell division, okay? So this is quite, happens a lot with um, spinal cord tissue and things, so you can't, when you damage your spinal cord, you can't, you actually lose function because those cells can't replace, be replaced when they're damaged. Um, and there's a lot of research thinking, looking at how to get cells from G0 back into the cell cycle so they can divide and things like that. Um, a couple of notes about kind of how we talk about these different stages. Um, so in prophase, our, our, well, what sometimes you see talked about as chromosomes, we're going to call them sister chromatids, okay? Um, in, in IB land, that's how we call it, right? And remember, a sister chromatid, you divide it into two, the sides are identical, right? Because that DNA was rep replicated during S phase. And one of the, the characteristics of prophase was when it, the DNA supercoils around those histones and, and so forth and becomes visible during that phase. Um, so that's kind of, that's what prophase is really about is, is that becomes visible the nuclear wall starts to break down. Um, but we call these sister chromatids, okay? When we get to anaphase and telophase, teleophase, we now call those chromosomes because they divided, okay? And again, that's IB, IB rules. You might see this written very differently in other texts you read and things like that. But I'm just making you aware of that. So a couple of things here that, that happen, especially starting in prophase, is our centrioles move to opposite sides of the cell. These spindle fibers come out from the centriole, and they start to go towards the sister chromatids. Okay, and eventually what they're going to do is they're going to attach to the the cent centromere there, um, and that's going to signal kind of a movement into metaphase. And what's going to happen is all those chromosomes are going to line up on the equator. Okay? Don't forget, through this, we have a checkpoint here where everything's checked to be okay. And then what happens towards the end of metaphase is these spindle fibers start to shorten. Okay? They put some strain and they start to move, they start to pull and move back towards the centri centrioles here. And what that causes is those centromeres, right? The, those centromeres to split. And the chromosomes, the sister chromatids split, and now we have chromosomes, okay? And those chromosomes move to the opposite poles of, of the cell, okay? And then forget, these are genetically identical. Um, and they move towards the ends of the cells. And then we kind of enter uh, teleophase. And what you start to see here is the membrane, if we're talking about animal cells, well, plant cells too, but the membranes start to, to pinch off. Um, we kind of say that that's a, a cleavage furrow here. So you see, see the idea here. Um, and you notice the, the chromosomes now are... Uh, uncoiling, they're becoming more strand-like, and you start to see the nuclear membranes 
appearing again. Okay, so this is mitosis, right? So this is this little section in the cell cycle. Okay, once that's complete, and really what that member that's that's nuclear division, right? And which is exactly what's happened here. We split the nucleus into two, and it's starting to reform. And kind of the the the, the final point here is cytokinesis. Okay, and this is where the 